Hello fellow weirdos, welcome back to be go to my shoulder in cradle. And uh, just by accident I discovered that there's a loose bit on this doodad, so let's see if this one goes to to the droid somewhere. just a simple analog piece. I have been roaming the yurt and I have discovered a few more inscriptions that I had missed before. Uh, for example, oops, for example over here. No, not here, here. We have an actual warning about the uh, uh, about the fence crossing thing. And then I think that this switch might have something to do uh, with this lock. But so far I have had no luck. Oh! Ah no, it has something to do with this doodad, okay. This doodad's thing. Uh, can we put this on here? No, easy, 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 easy. Okay, what else can I do? Yeah, I didn't realize that you can look at it from this side and then. Stuff changes. No, don't wait. So this this looks like some sort of power source. In any case, this doodad has been turned off now. Uh, no, I don't think these two go together. Or do they? I don't know. I've been going around the, the place with the knife as well, trying to wedge it everywhere. Okay, let's put this here for now. Wait, does she have like two different face do that's Okay, so this is one, and is that one too? No. Okay, just this one. the thing go? Thing, come here. Does this one go here as well? No. Interesting. Okay, let's replace this. So the note uh, or the objective says that two more things, two more parts in the year. So we got one bit from the director, one bit from the treasure box. some notes onto the chairs. <laughs> Maybe this diagram will give us some info. Okay, I can see the part, but... Uh, okay, so this is supposed to go inside torso as well. Okay. I think we I think we could 
completed this new task. Show me. <gasps> Hello. Synthetic voice. Hey. Or maybe not. Can you hear me? Where am I? Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. What happened to me? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yes. Are you a Volga? I don't know. But I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? <laughs> a long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and I buried it in the ground? Looks that way, but I don't remember <laughs> any of it. My name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? <laughs> She's having none of this. <laughs> I want to know what's going on here. You're not a mulger. I don't know what a mulger is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. Uh oh. What substance? I don't understand. My name is Eva. And I understand even less than you do. I do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? <laughs> They're, um, fused together. Oh kind dear. Of like a vase. What? You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Calm down, Eva. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? Eda, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child. <laughs> yes, if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Ongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. <laughs> I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long. Eighteen years ago. Listen, Inibish. I feel ill at ease here and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. Ooh. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. What marker? The authenticity marker. It's like my passport. It's got all my personal data. All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker, but it appears to be broken. So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neurocopy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen, why don't you start asking me questions? Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. I bet the flower quotient numbers have something to do with this. Maybe. Are you alright? I feel something is wrong with this body. I can't figure out what, but we need to hurry. 
Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? All right. They are called M bodies. Hold on. Why replace people's bodies? Because of the epidemic. There was a virus that spread across the globe. A sterility virus. They couldn't fight it, so they developed this body replacement program. Transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. Kind of like a personal refuge? Right. A temporary refuge. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able <coughs> to return to our regular bodies. Right. The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus. Passing. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Human beings produced it with their nervous system. Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, passium can only be extracted from emotions. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M-body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. Emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. As a result, passing skyrocketed in value, far surpassing everything else. And every person, they became... Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although... There were people whose substance was considered more hey. valuable than that of others. That's what's up with how beautiful and ugly people. Who were those people? People that were special, somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but... I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. Can I help you somehow? I need a breathing module. Could you find it for me? <laughs> Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. The river, some abandoned complex. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Enabish, I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's an amusement park. It looks the part. Unbody body parts were stored there. In the pavilions. It should huh. definitely have a breathing module. Body parts in a children's park? They were once used in a show. But I don't remember exactly how. Alright, I'll try. Find the seventh pavilion. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. Help me understand something. What's that? Okay. What's a neurochip? A consciousness carrier. When a body gets replaced, the subject's nervous system is copied to the neurochip. There it lives and develops, just like in the former body, or close enough to it. For one thing, there used to be no need to reboot yourself. Reboot? Sometimes the neurochip needs rebooting to clear the errors that accumulate. I don't really know much about it. Essentially, if too many errors pile up, it starts to disrupt your thinking. You start feeling out of it. That's when the neurochip should be switched off and back on. <laughs> we call that a reboot, and it is a highly, highly unpleasant procedure. What do you mean by disrupted thinking? Well, your speech gets distorted, for instance. You start uh -oh. mumbling as if you're delirious, but it doesn't end there. Your motor functions can be affected. It varies. Got it. Okay, first order of things, let's switch the radio off. Ooh, game saved. Uh, 
so I can only ask her limited things at the time. Okay, so I guess this means we have we now have access in and out of the of the amusement park. Right, we've made progress. This means I'm gonna head there. It's time for realsies, and I'm gonna end this episode here. Oh, before I go, another tidbit I noticed. <coughs> I'm guessing th these are our clothes. And at first I thought that uh, the shirt was broken, but no, 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 it has the same sort of membrane in the middle of it, like the eagle's vest did. So yeah, I'm calling it. This, this boy ain't natural. Anywho. I am off to the flower dome of doom. And I will see you in the next time. Bye!